What's going on, Defenders? Long time no talk. It is uh, 2020, and we really haven't done a lot. Um, and that's going to change with this video, actually. Uh, we've got a lot of kind of stuff going on in the background. Um, things definitely took a hit last year, um, mainly because Lara and I bought a house. So, taking care of the house kind of took precedence. We actually need to play a lot of games. We've been really busy lately, um, with just a whole lot of stuff. I know I'm production director for an esports group. There's just, oh, yeah, and we're going to get you content with them, even though it's Defend the Table. There's cool stuff going over there that I want to keep showing you guys. Um, the reason for today's video is to start some delicious, delicious content for you guys. Over the past, I don't know, about a month or so, we've been uh, still playing our games with Will and Hannah online, trying to find a nicer way to do it, and then just trying to think of other avenues that we can do some stuff for you. And we have decided that we're going to do... Uh, some podcasting. My buddy already had a podcast that he was kind of doing that he really wasn't doing much with. Uh, and so I said, hey, come over. I have, I'm an audio guy. I already have all the equipment from recording a bunch of different stuff. So we took a room in our house that originally really didn't have a purpose. And I said, hey, why don't we turn this into our studio? So we're going to be able to do podcasts. We are going to do um, our normal board game filming, different stuff like that. So I wanted to take a moment to show you the current setup which is that it's only probably been up here about two months, um, and it's not bad. It's really not. It's definitely something that we could do with and not have any kind of problem with that. But it's just a thing that if we're going to do this, I want to do it right, and I want to make sure that we have the not necessarily the best stuff, just the most conducive um, to the space that we have just because we're in my house now as opposed to in our separate studio. Um, so I wanted to show you what we got going on and then we're going to go and buy some wood and I'm going to show you guys what we're going to do and in about probably uh, two hours or so um, of total work time, I would say four hours of total work time, we'll have this sweet new podcasting table that will also be where we're going to film our games. So let's check out what we got going on really quick. Okay guys, here's our, uh, our current setup. Um, it's just a folding table. Um, but what I did was we've got road clamp arms all over the place, some nice pod mics. They sound real, real good. Um, Roadcaster Pro, the laptop to do some work on. You know, I cut holes in tablecloths to make sure that some cables can go through, so for some good management and whatnot. And, and it, it works. It really does. My problem is it's just not wide enough to play certain games. Like... Any, you know, miniatures game needs a 3x3 three three at minimum, and this just, this table's just not 3 feet wide. And it's just not the most conducive thing in the world. So, what we're going to do is we're going to turn this into a nice, keep it still 6 feet, take it out to 4, actually put grommet holes in it so we don't have everything clamped on anymore. And then I've kind of got some jank cable management, just because it worked. I mounted a TV the other day. So it, it gets the job done, but it's just it's just not enough for me. So let's go buy some wood. Then uh, we're gonna do so we're gonna do some cutting and some assembling. And uh, you're just gonna see a lot of rapid, fast assembly, and then the final product. What's going on, guys? It is uh we got the wood. Pete is here. We got work to do. We got that cool camera. We got that other cool camera. Yes, that one looks better because that's 4K and that is not 4K, but that's irrelevant. So we're, uh, we're going to build a table and for us it's going to be X amount of time. For you, 2 minutes and 30 seconds is going to be my guess. It's whatever he does. He's the editor. Alright, let's do this then.
Defenders, what it do? This is the, the third camera because of my other two are dead. And then I went to go get my nice camcorder and that's also dead. So Google Pixel 4, here we go. So the table is cut. It is pretty ready to go. It's not, it's not finished. I'm going to show you what it looks like really quick and explain all the holes that are all over the place. And then, <coughs> pardon me, uh, after that, just because, again, I have nowhere to put a camera, I'm really sorry. Um, I have uh, some cool felt that I'll show you that we're going to put on the table. We're going to glue it down. And when it comes to putting felt on this kind of press board or nice wood, you just have to, like, rub really long and really hard. Phrasing, I get it. Um, but that's all that you have to do. There's not a whole lot more to it. Oh, God. Uh, there's not a lot much more going on. Yes, our podcast studio is my closet, technically. But let me tell you how good the audio is because there's not a lot of reflection because I got a bunch of stuff over there. So um, I'm going to show you what's going on right now. I'll show you the fabric and then I'll show you when that's done and then what the next steps are from there. So here is our table. It is a uh, six by four with four by four um, legs. So we screwed everything in. Now, there's a reason for both of these holes. One of them is for the grommets for the Rode PSA1 boom mics. So that'll go right in the hole. And then the hole next to it, which you'll see it's kind of like the closest one to this cut out in the middle. Um, or realistically, if I'm sitting here at the end of the table, the microphone's actually going to be facing me. So it makes the most sense to put a cord hole over here. So what's going to happen is there's all these secondary holes all over the place. And those are gonna be where the XLR cables go. So they're gonna go in their own little thing. But uh, there's this cut out here, so the mixing board will kind of fit right in here. So this will be all the cable management for that. And then there's this weird random hole right in the middle that's actually for um, USB extension for our webcam for when we're playing games with Will and Hannah, so when we're doing video uh, chats with them. Um, uh, for the power for my laptop to keep it going and for the HDMI cable that will go and hook into the TV, and I gotta do a bunch of wire management there. And this is actually gonna come out and go downstairs because I've got, you know, my GameCube N64, NES, uh, SNES, and NES. That's gonna go downstairs in the office um, to get fixed. Uh, so yeah, let me, well here, let me show you this. So this is our felt. Um, this is actually really cool cosplay fabric um, from what Joanne Fabric said. I just liked it because it had this cool little sheen to it that I think would look good, but mainly look at these little hexes like tiles on a board game board. Um, so what I'm going to do is I have spray glue. I'm going to spray the entire thing. I'm also going to spray the back side of this um, to get extra adhesive so the two sit. You pretty much got about 15 to 30 minutes with the uh, particular 3M product that I got. So that way when I push it all down, I can kind of move it if I have to, but it's, it's just going to drape over the sides um, by like a couple inches or something like that, and then I'll cut it afterwards. Um, but like I said, really, you just kind of take it and you just you rub a lot to get the heat in. So then what'll happen is obviously all the holes are gonna be covered. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a knife and either just figure out where it is on top and press it in or take a knife from the bottom. And then the good thing is since the grommets go around all of this, you won't notice it. And this one you'll just have to cut a little bit. And then in here we're gonna fold it all in. It's gonna look great in the end. So I'm gonna open up this, uh, this window here or that one where it's in the upper 20s and it started to snow in Cleveland, so that's fun. So I'm gonna do that so I don't uh, go crazy inhaling glue. And uh, I will be back with you when all is done because again, I don't have a camera that I can show all this off because they all died because I'm an amateur. Fabric is down, looking really good. I'm a big fan. Um, I also got the grommets in for all the podcast mics. Now here's what I'm gonna say. I, I, I tried a couple things, and so if, if you're using the Rode PSA ones, for some reason it says to use a half-inch bit, um, or a half-inch um, hole saw. That is not going to work. I did, and we measured this yesterday before I put the felt on, so it wasn't that dumb. This needs to be three-quarters. Now, before I put the fabric down, the three-quarters slid right in, life was good, but there's just enough of the fabric that it was a little bit of a pain. So what I what you can do actually is this actually kind of screwed in. It actually the threads on the grommet actually took the fabric 
and turned it into like it, it bit into it. It was actually really really cool. Um, but you can't get it in all the way. It's a little bit of a pain. So make sure you do the smart thing. If you haven't done this with furniture too, IKEA anything, take a towel, put it right over top of where you're trying to go, and just hammer it in. Use a rubber mallet. Use a rubber mallet. The orange side on this is rubber. So that got it in to the edge. Now it's nice and in there. A little bit of a janky cut. But again, you're never going to see this. There's going to be cables there. It's not that big of a deal. So, uh, yeah, it was a bit of a pain in the butt because the fabric is so sticky and stretchy that even using a, um, a normal knife, uh, this wasn't the easiest thing in the world. It actually uh, it, it held on. There's a lot of strands. Um, so what I did is I kind of poked it in, turned it around, and it's to the point of I can push an XLR through it, which I did, but the problem was when I pulled it back out, uh, there wasn't enough glue around the outside, so it kind of pulled up a little bit. Um, so don't make sure – just get it in there, and then you can push the XLR through. You're not going to mess with it at all. Um, the other thing that I really want to make sure that you guys do is you might be thinking, okay, Casey, if all that was such a big pain in the butt trying to get the grommets in, why don't I just you know do the drill after this? Well, if you use like – a super like a super thick drill bit, which they don't go that high. They only go up to half an inch. Um, it's not going to work because what I ended up having to do is I've got these rotor sets essentially that you know they go and they drill. Blah, blah blah. That was good. I tried to use it on one on this guy under here actually to try to see if I could get it to cut through, and it is so strong of a bit that it actually pulled the fabric up and started to like have issues. So don't, don't do that. You are going to want to do this. So here's what we look like now. Let me, uh, start running some cable, making stuff look good. And, uh, we'll see how she goes. Merch coming eventually. Can you imagine how terrible that would have sounded if I had the lobs on like normal, but as per everything else that you've seen out of this freaking video, yet again, we go to use some piece of equipment and the batteries are dead. I don't have any batteries. There's a Costco trip in my future. Um, but enough about that. Let's talk about the table. We are done. Life is good. Here's what we're looking at. We've got a six by four table with four positions for uh, different people for podcasting purposes or for board games. The fabric is actually from Michael's, uh, which I talked about earlier. It's part of cosplay fabric. Really cool stuff. Right in the middle is what we'll call my station, the, the host station, for lack of a better term. Just because I have to run the tech, do the mics, make sure the mix works and all that kind of stuff. I gave myself a little bit more space. Plus, I'm egotistical. Um, but every station has the same stuff on it, realistically. Lair's is over here in the blue. Mine is here in the purple. Whoever our third player randomly is, depending on what's going on, has one in red. And then there's an empty spot over there just because I didn't want to put a mic in there if it wasn't going to get used frequently, so there isn't one. All of the cables are run through uh, holes also uh, in the table to keep kind of everything up off. Uh, headphones are run underneath for Lair and myself. Our third person for my buddy's podcast that, that uh, we record here, since he brings his own pair of cans, uh, it just kind of hangs over the top because I don't feel like running cable for an hour worth of a podcast. It's just pointless. So we just run it that way. Um, every single station has uh, a lot of road gear. Road PSA 1 boom stand, uh, road pod mics, uh, and all of that is being pumped over here into the brains behind the whole operation, the Rodecaster Pro. I've said Rode a whole heck of a lot. It's because I like their product. No, they're not a sponsor. But Rode, if you want to, I'm in for it. So we've got four XLR ins, all with their own panels, which is really nice. A USB connection that does have a mix minus on it. Uh, for you not audio heads out there, what that means is if someone on the far end is talking in, that same audio is not going to go back um, into them, so they're not going to hear themselves on a loop. You can also hook up a smartphone for phone calls if you're looking to do that kind of thing, or you can Bluetooth as well. We've got sound pads with different sound effects on it, uh, which is really neat. Every person does have their own volume control, so if some people like it a little bit louder than others, they have full control over top of that. Um, and we can also record straight down into a micro SD card if we don't want it to go into a laptop, so for portable stuff, it's really neat. 
Over here we have our Mevo. Um, this is actually a really neat camera that essentially takes a giant 4K image and through an app on an iOS or Android device, you can actually set static shots. You can let the AI automatically pick and choose what it looks at, uh, which we're trying to do for some podcast stuff for YouTube. So when we're doing here and recording, YouTube can actually get real video of the podcast and just the audio only can go out to you know stitcher youtube wherever um so this is a new addition to the family very cool we're also starting to kind of play around with putting it over top of the table so while we are playing board games pete can actually sit there and actually physically change um the camera shot that we're looking at with just one camera but we can see you know player stations and stuff like that so that's going to be really neat uh and all at the same time when we're talking to will and hannah we've got a tv in the back uh, that we have booted up to uh, be in Discord or Teams, whatever that may be. Um, so far, it's been used for that, D&D, &D, uh, and Mansions of Madness, one of the best board games ever created. Um, it is a full app experience, um, so even though it has to run off of something, so why not throw it on the big guy, because we can get music out of it, too. I would say, all in all, total time between going and getting the stuff, cutting all the wood, putting it all together, we're at, realistically, four hours. Um, it didn't take a lot of time to build, um, and that might just be because Pete and I uh, used to be installers, uh, so we're used to, you know, mounting TVs and putting stuff together, so it didn't take too much for us to put it there. The planning took a little bit longer, and I would say materials all in, you're looking at 50, 60 bucks. Um, for some decent wood, uh, and uh, we already had the screws and stuff like that, so you might be a little bit more if you need those. But for under $100, you can make yourself a very nice 6x4 table for your own podcasting purposes, for your board game purposes. Um, and this is just our first uh, rendition. We've got other ideas for other tables that we want to build when we actually get some studio space. Uh, but until then, we are going to use what is essentially my closet in my home. Um, that's why... Sometimes you're going to see shots of my clothes in the background, which is good because half the audio gets absorbed. The other half bounces off that wall. So I gotta, we got to foam it and put some stuff up there. But all in all, very happy with the table. And thank you guys for sitting around with us uh, as we designed and built this whole thing. And thanks for sticking with us as we've done all this. This is our first video to start giving you consistent content. So thank you for sticking with us. And until next time, be excellent, be awesome, and keep rolling them dice. We'll see you next time.